So here's a set of lights that's always kind of baffled me. Um, now, I had a friend of mine explain this to me. Um, this light is actually on with the next intersection, but this light only turns red when traffic starts getting backed up. Um, and I think it's due to the fact that there's an exit right here. So people coming off of the exit have a chance to turn left at those lights up ahead. Uh, I've never seen these turn red. Uh, I would imagine if this light went into flash mode, that it would all go into flash mode, hopefully flashing yellow, rather than flashing red, since um, this is technically an overlap. Um, yeah, so the stop line's back there, but this isn't signalized, not that it would really need to be. See if somebody comes up to these lights and changes them so you can kind of get what I'm saying. Give me a sec here. All right, so here comes a car now. A truck, I guess. So there you go. So that's changing, but that stays green. So I guess the idea, there must be some sensors in the road, so when cars are on it for a long period of time, I feel like it changes a dummy load switch in the controller panel to like a fake quote-unquote green light, and that would change this one to red since it's technically like in a different ring, I guess. Um, but other than that, yeah, this thing just stays green forever. Um, I've never seen anything like that. And it's like six in the morning right now so it's like not overly busy um, another interesting thing that Moncton and this whole like Moncton greater Moncton area we'll call it uh, uses is they still use inline fives uh, a lot of the times for their left turn signals now their gentrals are, fi are fives but it's because they use the double red but the left turn signals actually have a separate uh, amber and green arrow, where the gentrals themselves actually just use a, a bimodal. Um, so let's press some buttons here. Old buttons here. So one, one thing that they've been doing a lot is they blank off sections of these lights. So if it used to be a protected permissive, they will leave the old left turn arrow, but just disconnect it, um, but they don't replace the whole head, because they're expensive to replace, I guess, and with these uh, regular signals that take the amber and green arrows, uh, nice bud, uh, they take the amber and green arrows out and they just put a bimodal, but they leave the bottom section, and they may have done that in this case. Let's take a look here. Yeah, they did. So the incandescent, it's actually an incandescent green arrow. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, so they don't remove the bottom section all the time. So they did in this case. That's a four section. So that must have been just a new light that they replaced. But see, and they like tunnel visors here too, so you can see, it's hard to tell, but it's actually an incandescent green arrow, uh, but there are still some active, there are still some active um, amber and green arrows on some of these signals, but the, yeah, the inline fives are kind of rare to see nowadays, honestly, well, at least in Canada. I like their signs, too. Yeah, they have the countdown timer. Uh, Halifax doesn't do that. I don't know what these are. I don't know if this is for counter... The video cut out there, but... Um, yeah, the inline fives, there must be some heavy, so I guess that counterbalances the weight. Anyway, um, that pretty much sums up this one. Yeah, you can see that used to be an inline five. And they have their yield markings here, too, which is something I wish HRM would do more. So, there you have it. 